Good day and welcome to another vlog. Today we're going to do some cooking. We challenge ourselves to make our own Krispy Kreme donuts thanks to an American YouTuber, Claire Sappitz. Thank you for breaking down the science of what a Krispy Kreme donut is. Uh, so what you're going to see is uh, the three of us separately attempting to make uh, the sugary treat that is a Krispy Kreme. Now I've never made donuts before. Uh, this one looked fairly doable. Now it's weird because this recipe has ounces, grams, and cups. So I've just switched everything over to grams because uh, the metric system is superior. Got the recipe here. It's all in ounces, the inferior form of measurement. So we have to convert it all using... Can't say it because it will trigger it. So we start with 30 ounces of AP... What's AP flour? AP flour, which is all-purpose flour, is plain flour that works here. Oh no, I lost a little bit. We need everything we can get because we're very low on flour. I'm having to half all the ingredients as well because we just don't have enough. Ta da! Ooh. Bugger. Yeah, that's probably fine. This is like gold dust right now. You can't get hold of this anywhere. Oh, this is out of date as well. It's only a year out of date. That's not too bad. This one, November 2019. Are any of my ingredients in date? It just says best before, so maybe it's just low quality, plain flour. These are mine. 30 ounces? I think I'm gonna have to half, yep, 15 ounces. Already looks like donuts, doesn't it? You could eat that, mm. I don't know what kosher salt is. I, Ross thinks it's some form of flaky salt. Yeah, I don't know what kosher salt is, but apparently, Sea salt flakes will do the trick. It feels like a lot of salt. 28 grams of this bad boy. Wait, hold on, I was on seven. So I need, shit. Uh, Active dry yeast, let's put this in. Oh wait, we need half a packet of this, cause mm -hmm. yeah, I need to put half in. Couldn't find yeast anywhere. Trot had a pile of these bad boys. So this is just some dry active yeast. <laughs> shit. Okay, yeah, that's probably about half the pack. Uh, one pack of dry yeast. So I managed to source some... It's still out of date. Well, I've got two of these, so if one for some reason doesn't work, I'm screwed because I don't have enough flour. Ooh. Butter's in hard supply right now, much like flour. So this is the best we can get. Two ounces is 56.7 grams. 56, exactly. Oh my god! Something very satisfying about cutting butter. Oh, that's a little bit for me. Now the important thing to have done before this is to wash your hands. Now I've been washing my hands thoroughly to the point where they're dry and almost bleeding and cracked. So if you're not doing it like me, then you're not being safe at home. Wash those bad boys. Moisturize them as well. Let's try and make this dough. First hurdle I have is I don't actually have the mixer. Well, at least we got this. I think Ross has to hand it, so. <laughs> Unlucky. It suggests to add all the ingredients into a bowl of a large standing mixer fitted with a dough hook. I'm gonna have to knead some dough. Here it is. Um, so all the ingredients are in there. So now I need to mix it up and figure out how to do that without an actual mixer and use these babies. Okay, here we are with our dry ingredients in here. What do you call butter? Particularly dry, but it is. Step two. Now this is where the fun happens because we need eggs and we need more honey and vegetable oil. Four ounces of egg, approximately one egg. It's quite hard to find eggs in these trying times. Not really sure how much an egg weighs. Oh, 53, boom. What's this doing here? With knock-on door technology, and it's a door in door. Man, that's good. Bet the other two wish they had one of them. Four ounces of egg. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm halving my ingredients. I've already put too much stuff in. This isn't too bad. My worry is now I've got twice the amount of yeast. Should I just try and take a bit of this yeast away? Yeah, that's probably half, sure. It's a tiny egg. 28 grams of honey. Boop. 15 grams of your finest vegetable oil. Half a tablespoon of Madagascan vanilla. This is flowing all the way from Madagascar. I don't think it is. Okay, you've lied to me. Finally, 227 grams of tepid milk. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, a bit over. 
If you're following along, added all the ingredients, I fucked up slightly. But here we have all the ingredients necessary in here, all the ingredients in here, everything's halved. There may be more yeast than I'd like. It wants me to, so I, do I whisk this first? Some people have other whisking methods that are probably more effective, but this one's mine. Okay, I'll mix that. So then we pour it into the well. How welly does it need to be? I need to watch a video on this, I think. But you shouldn't be afraid to knead it by hand if a recipe calls for mixing it in a mixer. If anything, you're getting back to a more traditional way of mixing. This woman seems to think that all I need to do is just knead it. So I'll mix it in, create what I need to create, figure out why my GoPro is overheating, and then that's the dough. That's the dough. I've got a dough hook on here. Pour a little bit of that in. So what we're looking for here is a dough that isn't sticky, it's very supple and malleable. The well is formed. I'm just gonna basically just mix all this together, see if this does the trick. Good thing I don't have to do this by hand, eh? I've never needed um, before. This should apparently take about 10 minutes of pure kneading time. Um, please, uh, let me know if my technique is way off. <laughs> so I've had to resort to having a smidge more flour, because we've been, I've been mixing this for a long time and it's still real sticky. Yeah, making donuts. Oh, she's going now, boys. Is it meant to be like this? It says, mix on low until a shaggy ball forms. Increase the mixer and continue mixing until the dough is very smooth and supple and no longer sticky. Is that, I guess, it's not sticky as much. So maybe, I think I've, I think I've hit the mark. Oh, it's real sticky. I'm very worried about my dough. It's real sticky and I put in a lot of extra flour. So it's in there now, I had to stop because otherwise it's just gonna be a flour thing. Uh, it's gonna let it rise, let it proof. Wait for it to double in size, I guess, and then put it in the fridge. Good night, sweet prince. You were too sticky, way too sticky. Whilst that's happening, it's important to feed others around you. Bitter dragons love blueberries, it's really weird. Get them with your sticky tongue. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Right, this has been mixing for at least five minutes now. It's meant to stop being sticky, but it's still kind of sticky. It's kind of getting there. I've added a little bit of flour to see if that helps, and it's not bad. Bam, dough in a new bowl. Right, two hours on the, don't have a, two hours. Hey Google, can you over knead? You can't really undo the damage of overworked gluten. Covered in cling film, you leave it, and it's gonna be a big old mess of dough. Fingers crossed, tomorrow we can make some donuts out of that. Day two, the dough's been in the fridge now, all night. Um, and let's have a look at whether it's risen or not. Wow, it looks like it's risen, although the bowl's so big it's kind of hard to tell. It's definitely risen, but by how much, I'm not sure. Oh, it's huge. <laughs> And it's kind of collapsed. Pretty chunky. Um, very bubbly. I can smell that yeast. I think the uh, over yeasting might be uh, coming into play. I, I, I don't know if that looks all right. It's got like a brewery kind of smell to it. Turn the dough out onto a flour surface and roll out to a half inch thickness. Working quickly and flouring as needed to prevent sticking. Then I'll use two circle cutters to punch out the donuts. So that seems fairly straightforward, right? Let's do that. Please. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh, <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I don't have a roller. Oh yeah. Done. That's not half an inch thick fully. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Next step, you get a Yorks cast cup because that's the perfect roundness. It's all been me. I just um, want to make that real clear. Yes. It's entirely me. I've been holding the camera with a drone. Get those little holes out. Obviously, we're gonna fry them because sometimes that's the best bit, you know? Look at that Krispy Kreme glazed look, which are actually my favorite ones. I just like the standard Krispy Kremes. At the end of this, I hope that I've made better donuts than the other two. And I haven't used enough flour. Fuck. 
That's a mulligan. We have ourselves a donut. So I got a message as well from Trot just moments ago saying he managed to do 11. What have I done wrong? We're going a bit thinner. We're seeing some differences here. Uh, various sizes. So we don't have grease. <laughs> I don't have greaseproof paper. Not we, it's just me. We've got clean film instead, which I did, definitely. Do you wanna? What? What happened here? These are just needing to sort of puff up and rise now. So you can see these ones are looking a bit better on the side. Flowering is needed to prevent sticking. I haven't had any kind of sticking issues. Oh, I think my dough might be ruined. Do I need to put it on this? It's not even, these aren't sticky or anything. I feel like something's gone wrong somewhere. Uh, again, I did this on my own. Um, I know Smith did his on his own as well. Highlighting that point, when you come to choosing who your favorites are, we're gonna wait and come back, and then we're gonna fry them at a very specific temperature in some oil, which feels like such a waste. I emptied two bottles of oil into that. Perfect results, guaranteed. So we'll see, we'll see. This is the most dangerous part, is dealing with oil. The one thing you don't wanna do is slip and or uh, toss something off. You don't wanna to be tossing anything off in your kitchen. Make sure it's safe and just, leave, just don't touch it much. So this just hit 325, it's now 340. Shit. Something I don't have is a cooling rack. Uh, so I've got this sort of cake tin. I'm gonna lay the, the donuts on top of to cool. It's far from ideal. I've just chucked one of my little circles in there to test the heat of the oil because annoyingly I can't find my uh, thermometer. It's like a little beignet. I'm ready. We're at 300 degrees Fahrenheit which is a ridiculous measurement of temperature. Oh, there it goes. Okay, thank you. Look at this boy. Oh. I think that's come out pretty good. Wouldn't you say? Me? I'm just gonna go right, I'm gonna go and put them in. Here we go. Well, sunk to the bottom like an anchor. Now the ones I've seen um, other people do, kind of gently float to the surface, like this one actually is doing now. Now, they also use this nice little basket thing to collect it. I don't have that, don't have one of those. So um, I'm just using the punctured spoon and these tongs. Flip, you bastard, there we go. We flipped it, it actually, it actually looks really nice. I'm excited. I've never made donuts before. I'm excited to try them. There he is. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. Nine more to go. <laughs> Shape's a bit lost a bit, there we go. Come on, son, get off the spatula. Come on, son. It's fucking dangerous. There you go. God, working with hot oil is bloody terrifying. Okay, I've just flipped this one. It looks more like a bagel than a donut. The oil is definitely too hot, so I've turned it right down. Upside is I've got a bagel now. So I tried this. Really quite good. Oh, that's pretty good. It's a good dough. Those are a great batch. <laughs> So many donuts. Hello. Um, I've never really deep fried anything. I think I might deep fry everything from now on. Don't know how hot it is in here. There is a set temperature you can do this at, um, but I can't measure it, so I'm doing it by eye. This one's a little better. I'm just taking this out. This one's tone is way better. If you do try this, please be careful at this point. The oil was used as a way to defend medieval castles. It's a weapon, it's dangerous. Almost perfect. And then obviously there's this weird sort of shelf bit, but god damn, that looks like a Krispy Kreme donut. Look at the size of this thing. Like, chunky donuts for a chunky boy. Nothing would be complete without a penis-shaped uh, donuts. But overall, I'm kind of happy with how most of them turned out. Bit of a learning process, but I'm sure I could do it better next time. I'll tell you what, it doesn't smell nice. Like, now, sometimes when you, you can smell fresh donuts, it smells quite nice. This, it smells pretty bad. So here they all are. All of these donuts. None of them look identical to the other. Now it's time to, it's time to get on the glazing. So let's do that, shall we? God, that's, oh. So for the icing, all we need, um, this is for the glaze, is 300 grams of icing sugar. You can taste Oh, when you breathe it in, it's some mm, sugary tastiness. 
Combine all the ingredients and whisk until smooth. Pour slowly over the cold donuts, enrobing them completely. Make, I'm making meth or something. Fuck. This looks like one of those candles the Gwyneth Paltrow sells. It smells a lot better though. Oh, I need two hands. I had less powdered sugar than I needed and way more milk than I needed. So the glaze is gonna be interesting. You're not gonna be able to capture because um, you've got rudimentary technology. Um, the speed, so I'll slow it down for everybody just to... Oh, it's a real bendy whisk. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that whisk bending around. And just, I'll just levitate that out. There it goes. <laughs> Perfect. That's done. We have our lovely bowl. Browsers, call me up. Are you capturing that power? I'm pretty happy with the look of the donuts. Look at them. Some of these are really standing out to me. <laughs> So I'm quite impressed that she managed to make donuts at all, let alone ones that look pretty snazzy. Oh god. Okay, that's a bit over the top. Well, that's probably too much there. I don't think it was uh, mixed as well as it could have been. Well, we'll see what they look like when they dry. God, it. There's a stodge to them, man. These, this dough is. They're looking heavy, man. They look heavy. They look like chunky donuts. The glaze you saw me make earlier is now on this. It said in the instructions to make sure it's fully enrobed and uh, the only thing I really had to do it on was this tray. So I fully enrobed most of them. Uh, this is the sort of buttholey heart I made and these are my sort of better ones. These are giant and I'm really proud of them, apart from the butthole and the cock. I cracked one of them open and they're almost completely raw in the middle. Uh, let's have a look. It is just pure raw there. One of the main things I think went wrong is the temperature of the oil it was too hot. So I basically went in there, fried the shit out of the outside, and then the inside is all gooey and doughy. It's shit. So I'm gonna just make them look as nice as possible. They're essentially show donuts, but you shouldn't eat these. I'm not going to. Uh, so yeah, so we'll, um, I mean, maybe I can pretend to the other guys that I've done a really good job and just keep it in my mouth long enough that I can convince them that it's a good donut. That's pretty much my plan right now. So I've got the icing, very easy to make. So this one's okay, it does have like a sphincter here. That's not okay. Jesus, maybe I should have poured it. And lovely coating of icing there. I'd like to say it would taste delicious, but honestly, no, don't eat these. This is gonna win me brownie points. Even though I'm making donuts, am I right? Looks a little, um, yeah, looks like something. Wow, could be a category on Pornhub, look at this. So there we go, I've made four donuts uh, and I'm gonna try and convince the others that they're really good when they're definitely not. Like, look at this one, What's the, let's just crack this one open. Oh, this one's actually, oh, it stinks. It smells of yeast. That's disgusting. Okay, so I've made some some of the worst donuts you could possibly eat and definitely shouldn't eat. Now for a special, unique trot treat. We've melted some, I've melted some Biscoff with a bit of oil to kind of supple it up. Get on there. Oh, shit. Let's smear that on. Now oh, that is a Biscoff donut ring. A little bit of Biscoff treat. So maybe that'll sway the votes, who knows? Plate it up and glazed. Uh, now I'm about to go meet the boys on a uh, video call and we can compare. As you can see, I've got the three decent ones. <laughs> and this big boy, this red rocket, am I right? Well, hello hey lads. Hey. How was that? How was your bake or fry, I guess? Quite fun. It was a fry. Yeah, yeah. it was good. It was yeah, all right. It was, um, it was the hardest part for me was creating good shapes in the dough at the end to make sure that they yeah. cooked into a nice shaped donut. And also just guessing how hot the oil was because i've got a laser temperature gauge oh, shit. and that would have been guessing. perfect but i can't find the fucking thing so i was like yeah that seems like hot <laughs> oh, oil and so i burnt did. the first couple like in seconds and i'm like i clearly yeah. need to turn this oil how about did you guys gauge the did you have temp so do you uh, have, sorry do you have an electric hob yeah. as well so yeah i have a um i have a meat thermometer which is what i was using uh, yeah. to 
to test it, but it's like it was fluctuating so much, like between like one setting, like it was very hard. Trot luckily has ga gas, right? How was that? I had gas hobs. I had a nice little thermometer thing, which got it perfectly to 325 Fahrenheit. And I managed to ride it with the gas knob because that's gas and it works better. <laughs> gas Sorry. is so much better. Dear God. But did the turn donuts turn out better? That's the question. Well, yeah, I, don't let's, find I guess out. we'll find out. Well, I can show you mine first. Got one yeah, on go this plate it. here. Let me, um... Oh! oh okay. Ah! Okay. Let me right. just adorn them to fall. There we go. Ah! Ooh. None of them look alike. That's the one thing I've noticed, is that I managed to make them all look very different. thinking about Mary Berry there saying, like, we asked for 12 identical donuts. Yeah. And neither, <laughs> none of them were identical. Three shit ones. Yeah. Uh, there are more, obviously. Very different. You can't put all of them on the plate. Nice. Yeah. Here's mine. Ah, oh, okay. Nice. Ooh, is that, an, is that a glazed oh, one? Oh, what's this? A... Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, what it's a that? Biscoff one. Very nice. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. The I've glazing the could have gone a lot better. There's yeah. bits in it. Can you see the bits? Yeah, that looks like you just literally left it out for a gangbang to finish on. <laughs> They're quite <Ooh>. big. <laughs> wow. What's um, the middle one? Is that just a little dog like bone so stick? So basically, these ones were like the ones that I cut, I cut out like well. And I'm like, those are going to make good looking donuts. This right, one okay. was meant to be a heart, but came out looking like a butthole. And I had a little bit of dough left <laughs> over. So I made this like yum yum. Um, oh, dough dick, okay. Dough, yep. uh, donut and dick. Um, right. But like these are big. I don't know if you can tell from the Those picture. are chunky. Yeah. These chunky. are huge. What so did you I, use to cut them? Do you have an actual? Yeah, I have. Set, I had set um, cuts. I put them in the uh, in the oil and they just got gigantic. Um, and also, as you can see, my my glaze isn't the best. Um, yeah, oh. mine isn't. It, it's, I've got bits it's very too. patchy. Um, yeah, same. But I think if well, I did yeah. again, I could do it a lot better. I'm breaking it. Oh, okay, okay. The That's my inside. Oh. That's pretty good. Nice and light. Ah. Oh, oh yes, wow. mine is lovely and light. Yours, yours is very nice looking. Mm. Oh, look at yeah. that. Oh man, it's not quite focusing in, weird. I'll tell you what, this tastes like a Krispy Kreme. Yeah, mm. it's, it's pretty accurate. The, the too much coconut the ice cream that is really Quite nice. Oh, wow. You guys getting coconut? Mm. I feel like I, I don't want any <laughs> coconut. Mm. That's but good. Yeah, the, the texture of the dough is amazing. Like yeah. it's so That's soft it. and light and fluffy. Yeah. Like mm. we have to put a lot of random little things in there just to get it right. But yeah. Kosher salt. Wow. Mm. Who'd have thought? I'm gonna eat this little bit. I don't even think the coconut it. is necessary. No. Ah. No. I think it does something though. It gives it like the oily glaze. Biscoff's great. But oh. this is probably my best looking donut, this one. This one definitely looks like more like a Krispy Kreme. Look at that. Yeah, I think that one that very um, probably wins in terms of Krispy Kreme look. the overall look. Mm. Yeah, that's the best one. So Good job. Are we saying that we all basically all successfully make Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> like, you know, you know, the only difference between this challenge and the other challenges have been in the past. We've done it all separately, and, yeah. and I think that's meant that none of us have fucked around and just just followed the instructions and mm. achieved yeah. our goal. We just did a good job. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we should put it to our audience to decide who made the best one. I mean, mm. Smith's dick donut was probably going <laughs> to win some brownie mm. points there. Mm. He's gobbling down that right now. We've got to bite the head off. Poor Hollywood wouldn't like this one. No, because that one's a little bit. Right in the center there, not quite Ooh. done. Oh, really? Yeah, that one's probably the stodgiest one that I probably didn't cook long enough because the, oh yeah, the oil temperature. Yeah, my, my dick is the worst one. We haven't seen each other's processes in making these. We haven't seen each other's um, dicks, so. dicks then. So, <laughs> we'll let the audience decide on, on whose they preferred. Yeah, leave a comment below. Also leave a comment with what you thought of this video. Do you want us to do more yeah. of these while in self-isolation? Uh, maybe you're missing our gaming stuff. Well, don't worry, because Craig is editing diligently some yeah. classic awesome content over on Hack Gaming, so go subscribe. They're just there. editing yeah. videos now, guys. They're just editing videos edited. like they were on here. They're not Twitch VODs anymore, they're, they're edited. That's nice and fluffy, look at that. At least we didn't burn our houses down. That's I think that's the other good thing. I was terrified cooking without I definitely don't want to go to A&E right. right now. Whoa. I had a lot of good <laughs> Yeah, that would suck. That would suck. I didn't even think about that implication. I was like, I know. Right, I'm, I'm going to be really careful here because hot oil is fucking terrifying. Well, and, uh, when I burnt my hand like a couple of a few weeks ago, I was yeah. like, definitely not again. No. <laughs> 
semi-success, somewhat doughy, worth a try. I think I could do a better, better one again there. Well, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this yes. video. And uh, please subscribe for more, because we want to do more, and we want more mm. ideas for what to do in self-isolation. So yeah, yeah. throw some ideas. If you like this, yes. please let us know. And uh, hope you're all doing well. And um, you know you can make Krispy Kremes now. Just follow mm. our recipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was dough. That was just raw dough. <laughs> it's hitting <Nice>. me. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. See you next time.